Hello, everyone, and this is Reggie with Stock Talk. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I look at hundreds of stocks a day, and when I find little gems, I do post them. A lot of my time sensitive, so you can uh, make a play on it or do some due diligence uh, if you're uh, an investor going long term. Um, anyway, this is some information that you can chew on. So today, this video is about how to trade stocks that are overextended, right? So right now, we have so much liquidity in the market. Uh, these stocks are overextended, but you still want to play these stocks and make money. So right now is a swing trader's paradise um, because you want to, you know, I take small positions. I get in and out um, because at any day these things are going to go. So this is what I mean by overextended. So this is a Bollinger Band. You got this green line here. You got this red line and you got this green line. These are moving averages. So this is our averages on the price, like 50 day, 20 day, 100 day, 200 day, whatever. And so with these moving averages, I like to buy, I, I feel safe when the stock is around this red line, the middle line, right? Uh, they really bargain, especially on good stocks when it hits this bottom line, right? So right now, as you can see, and this is a weekly chart, uh, on blink inner, blink charging, it's overextended. And I'm, every stock I look at, I look at so many stocks that looks like that, right? So this is plug, you know, these are all the EV plays, right? Um Everything is just overextended. See, everything is so far above that red line. And at some point, it's going to meet the red line. So either it's going to meet, so this is ARK investing, this is ETF. Either it's overextended, it's extended, extended. And now if you look at the history, like here, so it went weeks, went from May all the way to, this is the recovery though, but all the way until November before it touched the line again. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I would take caution, right? Last time I did that here, like, let's go back before COVID, right? Before the lockdowns in November of 9, 2019, it did that here and it didn't touch again until November of February. So um, it's kind of normal, but just be careful, right? So I, I prefer to swing trades. At some point, you don't want a huge correction in which it comes down. So what typically happens is, and this is just for ARK investing. And so what typically happens is either the stock will come down to meet the, the middle moving average, the 20 day moving average, or it'll trade sideways and it'll catch up, right? So sometimes you can see that on a daily chart. See like here, well, see here, it fell down to it. Um, I think Blink has one. Yeah, see Blink came down to it, right? So what I like to do is, um, I like to swing trade these, right? Swing trade them in and out, catch the movement, and get out, right? Because at some point, you see, I see you have, so like right here, it gapped up and then brrr, came all the way down, right? But it's probably going to bounce and go back up again. Uh, that's on a daily chart. But if you're going long term, just be weary. I would actually just look for a stock that is closer to this moving average that 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 gaps. That's just cheap if you're going long, uh, long term. But uh, at these levels, I <clears throat> I just don't recommend going long um, on these stocks until there's a correction. I'll save my money and wait and then buy on a, a red day or some really, really bad news in the market, right? Um, because you don't want to be on the wrong end of these corrections. So uh, let me show you another one. Let's show silver. Now, silver was one that i just thought this was going to go to the moon forever right so silver this is the commodity silver silver was like right here silver went on a tear man silver was gapping up let me move these lines silver gapped up right this is a weekly chart right so it started in may of may 2018 2020 right and this was again this was because of the lockdowns of COVID. All these stocks dropped and dipped. People put all their money into silver because silver was a good recovery stock because when, uh, especially in China, China buys a lot of silver because of uh, industrial. When it comes to make, like making mother, industrial technology and stuff, when it comes to making boards and stuff, you use silver, right? Silver is heavily used in industrials. So silver went on this tear. I remember I bought like right around here and I sold it around here because it just kept going. It got so extended. It got outside the Bollinger Band. And when it moves like this, you can kind of get uh, tunnel vision and feel like, man, this is gonna, this is this is gonna be a stock that's just gonna just live forever. Mind you, this is a weekly chart, so these are weeks right here within this this channel here. 
And then as you can see, it stopped, right? It cooled off. It traded in a, in a and so usually right, right here, this is almost, I call a bull trap in which, so it, it cools off. And usually when this happens, it'll cool off, come back inside the Bollinger Band and then get back up again. But here it didn't happen, the reverse happened. And you can tell because this, this moving average here, right? This red line, didn't the move, this would have came up to here, then I would say, okay, it's gonna gap up. But seeing that it didn't, it still traded sideways. Uh, the price came down to the center of the Bollinger Band and traded sideways, traded sideways, gapped up a little bit, trading sideways. So now it's just trading sideways. Now it could gap up again, um, but keep that in mind when it comes to stocks that are gapping up too much. Like like silver, man, I just, it, it, if you were trading this, it kept moving up. You made so much money. So much money was made right here. So much money is made right here. And you're happy and you're thinking, oh, man, I'm going to stay in this forever. I'm going to stay long. And then, boom, this is where you get caught. And this is where you get your gains back if you're not careful. Right? So the lesson here is when stocks gap up, swing trade. Swing trade, swing trade, swing trade. And then when they hit this line, then you make a judgment if you're going to go long. Now, on silver, because of, you know, there is no board. There's no, it's a commodity. So it's a little, you trade this a little differently. But this was an actual stock. Then you kind of consider the industry, the the, the uh, company, your due diligence comes in into play uh, if you want to go long on it. But so just keep that in mind when it comes to these stocks that's gapping up. We're we're, we're so extended right now, um, you, but you still want to play the market. Just go in and out. This is Reggie with Stock Talk. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. Uh, text me. Feel free to message me below. Um, and I'll respond back. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do look at a lot of stocks. I trade based off of price movement, technical analysis. And when I see a good setup, I usually announce it to everybody um, so you can make a decision on it. All right. This is Reggie Stock Talk. I'll see you in the next video.